Gentlemen in the mix. IBWs will do it. Thanks for 51. Oh, look at Cream real quick. Yeah, we'll go to the. I like it. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's awesome. That's awesome where it is. Yeah, dude. There's a lot of upside, potentially. Traders set it up their highest point right there and plotting this because of that September 21st of last year. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would think, oh my goodness, dude, it's a shark, isn't it? Some sort. Depending on where you anchor, I don't think it matters really. Oh my god, it's a beautiful shark. It's a beautiful shark that's above a critical ice line, barely. That's so good. Like, you would be blessed, like insanely blessed if this asset could see $105 to $101 again. Right? That's the zone of congestion, right? You got a reaction. You had bullish divergence like many other assets. You may not get this blessing of 101 to 105, but that would be the best area, the lowest risk area entry. But the target eventually is 151. But if we're talking about harmonic strategy targets, right, the Casey Stubbs, the top of the structure, 181, and just above it, uh, a little bit higher, not much, right, uh, 189. So the, that's kind of the area. Well, you, what you would pray for, what you may not get, is this, that. And then an inverse head and shoulders develops at the, to boot with a neckline. Dude, cream is like potential trade setup opportunity stuff. All right, that's, that's it, dude. Cream's pretty good. Cream, 
cake, bake. All right, so then we're gonna need flour coin next, you know, like F-L-O-U-R. We're gonna need egg coin, okay? We're gonna need um, vanilla extract coin. Yeah, dude, yeah. Like one could just layer in right now. One, one could lay you. All right, they're taking a little bit long, 117, where it is right now. It's down almost 5%, wonderful. One takes a little long here. They layer in to 105, 101. They start, they keep adding to their position and then that's it, right? So it's just this layer in situation on cream. At where you just look at it like, uh, we don't want anything to do with the asset, I think below uh, this low from March 17th. It's really a 105, man. It's the these peaks right here. It's this candle close back from the beginning. And uh, it's having it like this. That is equitable. Equitable. Three to one. So one could just, I'm talking about like this, right? Even tip $21.69. Hey, Mitch, then can you add, look at my one would add coin? Position. OGN slash USDT on Binance. Thanks, man. And one could have a stop looser if they wanted, if they got an entry down there, they could have a looser stop. Yeah. So, but the targets up here are the same. But yeah, I'm just telling you, man, you can layer in. One could buy now and buy at lower levels. And the, the cutoff point uh, is like, you know, less than $100 on cream. Okay. Nice, nice, nice request. Impressive. And or if one wanted to wait, they could. They could just wait to get but dude i'm telling you something like this above this 105 area it may never back test it might be too strong okay so it just all depends on how aggressive you want to be this is a great one that could just be going now it could be going soon bruh that would be the best man get an entry at 107 105 you may not be able to it sucks What's up, it's a cool man. Thank you, dude, for the uh Is that a joint? Thanks, dude. And above those targets. There's that one peak up there, 210. Oh man, I definitely think that's uh levels you can get to. How do I do this though? How do I um how am I gonna publish this? I don't want to confuse people. And then we do a fourth target too. I'm gonna do it like this. Cause it's like, you know, I don't want people to miss this, but there is definitely a better area to enter. Not by much, but still. And you could have four targets. And I don't think they'd be that confusing. A layer in, people could layer in. So Robot Joe, thanks for the uh, sub prom. Hey, Tritus. Oh uh, yeah, that was yesterday's stream. That was Cream. Welcome to Cream. Uh, hit a high today of two hundred nineteen dollars. So, yep, we do recap. I'm gonna do recaps, man. Especially ones where YouTube did not allow me to stream yesterday because they had their own issues, and um, I had to stream on Twitch. But uh, you can clearly see I wasn't taking a day off, nor was this crypto market. So. Um, that was one where education, right? That recapping because of education. What up, Matthew D? Would you say Michael Jordan? Oh yeah, Hype King for cream request. I mean, maybe, uh, like, I mean, that was pretty lit, man. Three targets achieved that fast, man. Here it was. Here it is, right? 22 hours ago, less than a day ago. Bam, three of four achieved. And a big pullback on the third target. Oh my God, I'm so surprised at profit taking levels. People take profit, what? I can't believe this news. Beautiful. 
So that's kind of like the highlight, man, especially from yesterday's stream. Y'all need to follow me over on Twitch because if this happens again, I'm gonna be streaming there. So it's just people like, did ben Mitch not stream even though you get notified on, in Discord? If you follow me on Twitch, you get notified always when I go live there. So I just... So we can go to Bitcoin now. Congratulations on cream tendies, cake, bake, cream. And speaking of cake, a new NFT has been created to, to commemorate the incredible legendary trade setup. Here it is, just so you can see it for the first time ever. This is it, man. K to the US dollar, Tether, 32421. It's kind of cut off down there. This is it, man, right? Entry around $10. God, these freaking notifications. Entry around $10, and it went up. Third target was $29.99, and uh, it has gone beyond that. It's a 300% appreciation in value in about five weeks since the entry of this setup. So. Wonderful dude, yeah, you, I mean, you can purchase the NFT. Own a little piece of history. Beauty, right? Oh, and, and it's a three-day auction. Okay, so this is different. It's different than the other ones. It's because it's a new amenity or new thing that Rarible's offering. So it's like, um, be like yeah yeah 0.25 wrapped ether minimum bid like that and then you know obviously no one's bid on it yet but uh you know the bid will end in two days 21 hours and 25 minutes right so if it you know no one bids on it whatever it expires but uh we're just seeing how it goes i don't know all right just bringing these things up a lot of things going on What's up, dude? Uh, moaning. I don't like moaning noises. Thanks for follow us on Twitch. A little late to the party, but uh, all right, let's get a Bitcoin that sold off, right? It did sell off. Hey, TA respected, right? Uh, I'm sorry, what was it yesterday we were talking about on stream? It's called Hidden Bearish Divergence and Pending Price Action Continuation Downside. You got it, but it's not much. Can you look at my S coin? I'll get my flash with Unity Swap. Thanks, man. Brian P, thanks for 20 if you want. Yep. And also, someone else requested. Ethan, thank you, dude. OGN, he wants to see that. Sure. Yeah, we'll look at that, too. Okay. Wow, that's like half the... Uh, oh, my God. JD, are you kidding? Dude. We've had, like, five new annual patrons in the last 24 hours or something ridiculous. Okay. Brad... Is that, that's right, isn't it? I mean, that, that's like, uh, yeah, yeah, so we got, uh, no, more now. So we gotta do these, man. Uh, Brian O, thank you for be becoming an annual patron. You know, you were a monthly patron, now you're annual. Boom, thank you, man. My God. <clears throat> and we're doing these. I mean, dude, this is not a joke. You're just gonna have to sit through the Jesus chimes, all right? Oh my God, another one just now? So, all right. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Cy. Also joining the annual Patreon past 24-hour period between last stream and this one. Thank you, dude. I wish I was a tank. Thank you for going from monthly to annual just uh, a little while ago, about an hour, hour and a half ago. Thank you, dude. JD, JD, thank you for going annual, like, uh, I don't know, like a couple minutes ago. And last but not least, <clears throat> if you can even believe it.
Why am I muted? Why am I muted? How long have I been muted? Jesus, has it been the whole stream or something? How did I become muted just now? Nope, that's weird. I did not mute my mic. Hold on, yes I did. I thought I muted it, but I didn't. Okay, anyway, so Jacob T, JD, I wish I was a tank. Cy N and Brian O. Thank you all for joining the annual Patreon within the last 24 hour period. Okay, and, and then we also have just uh, monthly patrons who have joined. Chris J, Bradley P, Merrick A. Thank you all for joining the monthly Patreon at the end of the month because you know the price is increasing next month. So on the first, which is in like two, three days or whatever, on the Saturday, the first. Uh, thank you all. Wow. Don't know how much my little heart can take. So Bitcoin's fine. Remember, uh, I figured it'd be back testing 52,172 if it was going to. It hadn't even tested that yet. This that high. Now, I mean, you could say it has tested a little wick high, just above it, a little zone of congestion. You can clearly see. So yeah, I mean, you got that going for you. It's kind of like a scallop, maybe. Scallops are pathetic performers, so good, like a bear scallop. Uh, normally, Wolkowski talks about them retracing about 70% before they reverse to the upside again. So, uh, what has to happen, right? Something that has not occurred yet is market participants do not have confirmation of accumulation after the major reaction we got at the pattern completion zone of the bullish cipher, right? You don't know yet. Market participants don't know. So that has to happen wherever it is, whether it's here and now, or if it continues down to 50,300, why? Because look left, it's, it's an ice line. It's psychological support resistance 50K and the March 25th low, right? That That's why it could do that. But eventually, what, what it, you would think it seems very possible that Bitcoin's just gonna make a higher low than that previous low before it, and that's incredible. That is a form of confirmation the market participants need just to know, hey, a bottom's in for now, and we can run to 58K and beyond, possibly, because this harmonic is insane. It's a huge pattern. Okay, that's, that's where we're at. We need that confirmation. We need that higher low. Or maybe, worst case scenario, a bad case scenario, be a double bottom. Right, like a huge double bottom developing at the pattern completion zone. That would be a reaction low and maybe a confirmation low. But we're hoping, right? I mean, you're, you're hoping that the trend is so bullish, too much demand, not enough supply, that just one of these other levels would act as that form of confirmation, which we were seeing um, on a lot of altcoins back March 25th, where they got the reactions. Same with Bitcoin, they got the reactions and then never got their confirmation reversal lows. They just went straight up like Wi-Fi, Link, XLM. It was just, they hit those bottom and just reacted and it was the reversal at the same time. So that's what we're hoping for here, okay? People are also gonna make the argument, hey man, maybe eventually an inverse head and shoulders. Sure, maybe. You know, it's not the strongest because it's slightly down sloping neckline, but uh, yeah, you could definitely try to make the argument momentum shifting, what does that mean? Maybe Bitcoin can get down to 51,352, touch that scam wick, which would be technically the left shoulder. Or if you're excluding that scam wick, you're at that left shoulder. It's kind of a little bit lower now than the potential shoulder, right? So I don't really care where bottom's out at. I mean, obviously I'd love it to be wherever the highest low is, whatever the highest support is to the back test, that's fine with me. But I'm just saying like, you don't need to, you don't have to care that much. All it has to do is make a higher low and then you get that confirmation accumulation. And then we go on to much higher levels. And then what happens? Ethereum sees 3K for real. Altcoins catch bids, you know, they make their own higher lows. The, the, the market scanning today, very homogenous. Like everything locally looks just like Bitcoin almost, except some. There are a few, obviously, always like that, that are just gonna be different, okay? Ah, string of my coffee, man. Okay. What is this one called? I can't remember. Erwin Coffee, it was uh, the standard, the new standard. What was it again? Mr. Chicken, thanks for the follow on Twitter. What's up, dude? Okay, so that's uh, that's your Bitcoin. Hopefully, 
we're up to speed now, especially if you missed the stream yesterday, I'm sorry, but it was identified the hidden bearish divergence and pending price action continuation apply. You got it, and it's been very weak. Very weak performance from a pretty bearish couple indicators. Good, that's what we want. We want to see the TA respected, but the TA respected in a pathetic way. Because when you sit, when bearish indicators present themselves and you get pathetic price action where it plays out, but it underperforms, that confirms, that can help confirm the bullish bias still in this market, right? Bull still in control, maybe. All right. Bull Ethereum. Target's still $3,000, man. Bearish divergence. It's not playing out. It's like not even performing. It's like unreliable right now. It hasn't occurred. Like what's going on? Why is it not, you know, high, the higher high. It just so, and this is what I'm saying, man. Like a Bitcoin holds this support here. Dude, 3,000 sooner rather than later, man. I wish there was more talking about. Ethereum's uh, amazing, incredible. We know that though, right? We, we looked at the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, Wyckoff. Uh, accumulation schematic going on for two years plus now and you were at the end you were at the backup that occurred it's time and it's like eventually at the end of Bitcoin charts gonna be at uh, I believe it's like eight nine million Satoshi's or something yeah the market phase so we did it man we freaking did it we broke uh, above, you know, the old all-time high from April 22nd. You held it. You engulfed. You've continued on methodically. Oh, my God. Ad hoc. Are you kidding me right now? Just became an annual patron for monthly. Thank you so much, Ad hoc, man. Hype in the freaking chat for all these new annuals. This is unreal. Wow. Is that annoying? Wow. I like the confirmation low and daily bullish divergence. Winking face. Ivan, thank you. Yes, we'll look at it. You won't even believe it, chat. You won't even believe it. But guess Shell K was just a monthly patron. Just kidding. They're now an annual patron. Unbelievable. How is this happening right now? I don't know, man. This is crazy. Thank you so much. Sweet Mother Jesus. Is that a joint? <sighs> anyway, all right. So, Ethereum, $3,000 eventually. Where you, you know, I mean, you can pull back, right? And here's the, the sad thing, unfortunately, is this asset could dump all the way down to 2300 make a higher low and keep going and the wave that it's in would still be valid right the val the these weight new waves they don't become invalid until they break below the previous discernible swing low of that wave and ethereum has been so strong that there was there is absolutely no uh discernible swing low on this wave uh since the beginning of it. it's so powerful so it's just like it could go down to 2500 again test it and hold and it and the divergence really plays out and it still would be fine the 3000 target would still be holding it still be true all right all right um so that was bitcoin ethereum cream Oh, we can look at uh, Litecoin. Down about 2%. But look at this. Oh, my goodness. You were talking about you were at the precipice of an enormous crossroads on Litecoin. What was once a congestion area, an ice line from 2018, and oh, my God. You got to be kidding me. And, and a high from February 20th. You're above it. You're holding it. Bitcoin's selling off. Litecoin's not really selling off much. Dude, you gotta be kidding me! No way! J To Z just became an annual patron. And, and you think that's it, right? You think that's it? It's not. It's literally not it, okay? Bomb on 
Thank you for also becoming an annual patron right now. Both y'all at the same time doing this. This is unbelievable, chat. We, I've never seen it like this. This has never happened before. Not like this. This is crazy. Thank y'all. Oh, man. Yeah, new records. I used to, when I was young, I'd go to like a personal trainer or whatever, like uh, growing up in the summer and stuff, you know. And uh, you know, if you broke a record, they'd be like, "New record!" Like screaming it at the top of their lungs. So yeah, dude, that's that's it, dude. No way, no way. You've got to be kidding me. Birdhouse just became an annual patron. This is the day of annuals. April 29th, 2021, a day that will live in Fumi, all right? Because it's not infamous, it's famous. It's Fumi, all right? I'm just kidding, but uh, wow. Whew. All right, so Litecoin, understand, if it can hold this area long enough, 276, 315, easy, all right? You broke out of the wedge, or you know maybe you consider it not a wedge because there's only four touches, but uh, nevertheless down sloping, pricing traction, uh, and a very bullish trend. The way it is certainly outperforming Bitcoin, not by much, but it is. You can clearly see it, right? Bitcoin, I mean, is down more. Like let's say if we're using Fibonacci from the major low, you know, the lowest low to the highest high on you know, Sunday, 38% retrace on uh, Bitcoin so far. And Litecoin, I think, is like not even 23% or right around 23%, right? Yeah, like, uh, so it's like a 27%. Yeah, outperforming Bitcoin. So interesting, right? We know Bitcoin dominance. We need to look at that. Yeah, yeah, uh, for sure, Shiba. Thank you, Michael, Jordan. You're not fooling anyone, dude. We know that what that J stands for. Is that a... Uh, Is that a Jordan? No, that's a Jordan. Thank you. Oh, is it draft day today? My God. Try to come. Wow, you're just now following me on Twitter. You've been around for a long time. I guess you just got Twitter. Twitter, by the way, devastated after hours. You want to look at the chart? Here it is, top right of your screen, ruined, all right? Close the day at 6509, currently sitting after hours, 5765. We're talking like down 10%. Gross, all right? Uh, they think they had reduction in their users, and they had to lower that, uh, not guidance for their numbers, but guidance of their users. So, uh, yep, that's what this is what happens, Larry. Censorship's a uh, terrible game. So many assets to own. Why on Twitter? I mean, I get it. Nice uptrend. Okay, what's well, not an uptrend, you know, on stocks? But what's not censoring people, right? Okay. But also, Amazon. Amazon uh, had a really good, really good numbers. And it's like, this is what happens, Larry. When you freaking, when you shut down the entire uh, economy last year, all small business, and then you leave Amazon open like nothing happened. Yeah, of course. They had great growths. Same with uh, these tech, all these tech one tech stocks, right? I mean, now you've got the big one, big four that have reported, right? Amazon, Google, Apple, Microsoft. And today, Facebook, after yesterday reporting earnings, they're up 7.3% top gainer on the S&P. And you know, worst performer today was Ford. They also reported, and because of chip shortages, they're not, not gonna be able to continue production of a lot of their uh, vehicles. It's down almost 10% today, Ford, good. Okay, so Litecoin, let's go to XRP. Everyone's favorite coin, up 2.3%. Still a little flag action going on, honey. I mean, it's just, it's morphing, it's evolving into something, right? It's extremely strong, technically. This is so strong. This flag is great. I mean, the target, dude, do we really even do measure move? I mean, the target, I think it's 196, $2. 190, whatever. That's the target, dude, of this, eventually. Two bucks, XRP. Bullish as F, all right? Jim, oh my God.
Thank you, dude. Thanks, Mitch. I'm glad uh, this community was able to, you know, put you ahead a little bit more financially, right? That's just kind of the goal. A little bit of value to help you get just a little bit further ahead since most of this world has turned on us, right? I mean, in a lot of ways, shutting you down, shutting down your businesses, right? Furloughing people that are working, you know, career jobs for the man. Okay. Oh, well, taxes going up, right? COVID masks everywhere, you know, vaccines. They're trying to make you take vaccines. Okay, they're doing all these things, right? So hopefully, you know, here you can forget about a lot of that and just worry about the charts and better your life, right? A little bit with taking some trades. Okay, low risk, high reward opportunity trades, not crazy psycho moon boy stuff, okay? Bull pull, bull flag, XRP. Could be Kings soon, $2. Alright, XRP, Litecoin. Um, anything else? I mean, like, dude, because I was scanning. It's just, like so many things look so similar. Alright, Binance coin needs to be talked about. Ridiculously powerful. Okay, this one. Hit the targets of the alternate bat pattern. Right, identified freaking April 23rd. That, that's the top of the pattern. That's that's the uh, the targets, right? The Casey Stubbs targets. The But... You understand what's going on, right? This is an ascending triangle, okay? So you may pull back, but if it does pull back and doesn't just break through and go to $800, which is probably gonna happen eventually, when it pulls back, let's look for this asset to not get back down to that demand line. Okay, if that happens and it starts rallying again, it's not a partial decline per se, but it's the same psychology of the partial decline, all right, where the acceleration of demand is going on, right? Where if there, if, if it can't get back down to that demand line, there's too much demand, right? So that would be an entry, right? I mean, like for a huge continuation of this price discovery, it's been in for well over a year now. Harmonic after harmonic after harmonic, and another harmonic, you've got to be kidding me. Every time these harmonics appear, it's like, okay, they run up to the top of the harmonic and they don't stop, man. So I'm just saying, like, once again, it's history repeating itself. And we know about the, the major harmonic, uh, the powerful price action of the wave analysis, right? We did this on stream yesterday right? and the day before, I think. So XA. And then you get that deep 886 retrace. That is stupid strong. 886 retrace with a higher low on C. It will eventually manifest into this. $770. That's that's the way. You're on the last wave and you can get pullbacks. Remember we were talking about on um, on Ethereum, right? All that has to happen is if Bit Binance is to sell off any, all it has to do is just eventually make a higher low than that 461 April 23rd low. That's it. And then the wave is still valid and it can go on and that's still the target. 770 is the eventual target on Binance. I'm not sure when. Okay, I'm not one of those, okay, it's gonna happen in 10 minutes or by the end of the week, no, it's whenever it wants to, but that's the eventual target, okay? 770, Binance, one of the best performing assets that exists in crypto that has like some sort of like, you know, decent amount of liquidity and, you know, whatever, and for good reason, right? Now they're launching NFT stuff this summer, super exciting. I mean, there's just so much bullish bias on this one. What an hour performer. I love it, man. Finance. Okay. We look at uh, total market cap real quick. Just check on it. Uh, still hidden bullish divergence. Still bullish engulfing golden candle. Still sideways after a little markup. No problem, man. No problem. You know, even if you come down to test 1.89 trillion, you could just be back, you spring, you back test the spring of the demand line. Oh my God, right? And then it's almost like a one valley and a confirmation low before going to eventually $2.5 trillion. Okay, so, I mean, this is just not nothing wrong with this. Implied continuation on a daily time scale is powerful. Very, very powerful. Can you hear me? Bueller? Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. It's Shark, man. It's the Shark, man. Dude, thank you so much for becoming an annual patron. You were monthly, now you're annual. 
This is the most insane annual day in history of this community. So thank you all for all the support. It means so friggin' much, okay? The, your, the faith you have in me, right? You, you got a, a glimpse, a taste of this month, and you're like, yeah, it's time, right? That's what all of you are saying right now. So thank you. Truly humbling experience. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go big one donuts real quick. Just to check up on it. I think it did some bad stuff yesterday. Last night anyway. I was breaking 50%. Oh, dude. This is real bad. I mean, bad for the chart. Bad for like historical correlation to support resistances is what I'm saying. All right. When you break 49.66%. And you got all these wicks here. But this, this one right here. The most important one. Why was it the most important one? Because it was the first one. It was manufactured July of 2017. So that's why it, the trend line's plotted there. After it was manufactured, the only thing that's happened is you've had price action correlation to that trend line. So, you know, July was created and then afterwards, correlation October 2017, September, November 2017, March 2018, right? That's it. So you've broken that now. I mean, maybe you get lucky and I mean, whatever, maybe this chart gets lucky and it reverses at one of where these, one of these wicks were, but dude, the correlation is normally like straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, where eventually this asset, Bitcoin dominance could see 39%. You would understand like if, it, if this whole trend stayed bullish <clears throat> and Bitcoin was going down to 39%, you're talking about Ethereum's probably like four or $5,000 plus. I'm pretty sure like that's where a lot of the capital is going. That's like a lot of the dominance is going to Ethereum. Well, what is the Ethereum? Uh, I don't even know if I've ever looked at this on stream before. Ethereum market cap dominance. Let's look at it. Look at this chat. You see what's happening? This is Wyckoff uh, accumulation, inverse head and shoulder stuff. I mean, th this is what's going on. You know, the markup phase is beginning. This is it. This is when the composite operator marks it up and we're eventually going to see 20% uh, market cap dominance. Yeah, that's what's happening right now. One valley, second valley. Oh yeah, the back. This was the backup, the textbook backup. It's complete. And there was hidden bullish divergence on the backup from this low to this low. Yep. So 15.82% um, and climbing of the total market cap. So again, the target is 20%. After that, it'd be 25%. There you go, Ethereum dominance. We just passed 100 annual patrons, sweet mother of Jesus. What's up, pig dude? And we just got another annual patron. What? Oh, I'll let this play real quick. Well, didn't uh, Lumber did it slow down? It limited down on futures and Good hopping again Captain or something? Lumber can slow down. JBS slash Nasdaq CNH on the week. Thank you. 24.24000000 Pick for the pick. Thank you for the 2873 uh, basic attention token, the exotic crypto contribution. Sure, we'll look at it. Uh, Greg, Greg H, Madman. Thank you so much for going from monthly patron to annual. It means the world. All of you. This is incredible. Over 100 annuals now. Annual didn't even start until. Uh, like August or September of last year. It wasn't even a thing till then, so. Can you look at Kofi slash use, please? Thanks. Yeah, we'll look at uh, Cody, Mr. Cadillac Shack. Thank you, dude. Cody Connect. Ethereum, the Bitcoin chart would look just the same. It would be like eight, nine million Satoshis versus whatever it's at right now. I'm assuming I'm thinking that's that's accurate, right? Uh, the right, it says like 30k or 40k, like you know, on the numbers, but it's actually like five million, six million, or whatever, right? Uh, Wayne Roberts, thank you so much for joining the just the Patreon monthly to lock in that uh, 130 rate because it is going up on the first, so that's the only reason why you join right now. If you you know don't want to get charged now and on the first. You just wait till the first, but unfortunately, you're going to be paying 150 versus 130 if you do that. So it's just kind of a rough situation. Wait, wait, wait. Are you serious? No, we're good. Okay. 
Bitcoin or Ethereum dominance, man. Unreal. Ethereum, let's, let's look at Ethereum BTC. It's the same picture, right? Pam Beasley, same picture, except it's a little bit more insane, right? Yeah, you're approaching the target, like you're approaching the next level, right? F 5 million Satoshis or 5.2 million Satoshis. And it's really not even that big of a resistance support. I mean, the big support resistance is like 8.5 million. You understand in a measured move of a structural breakout, we're talking 6.3 million Satoshis. That's it, dude. I mean, it's a long way to go. You're a little overbought, but dude, look at this. This is the this is the composite operator, the smart money, man. He's been warning us. He's been telling us, dude. Ethereum's about to start. I'm not saying like you know, back, zoom out and go back in time. He was telling us, all right. Jumped across the the creek, and though you kind of double top, you had that first false breakout. The backup. That was the backup. Oh my God, right. Hidden bullish divergence developed on the backup, and look at you now, okay? Look at you now. So, yeah, you break through some congestion areas here. You see the target, but dude, if you break through 5.7 million Satoshis, you're going to 8.5 million Satoshis straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. Why would it not go straight up? It probably will, okay? Beautiful. Hopefully, you know, this has been uh, I mean, we've been talking about this, right? It's been a major development on this market. There's been this meta shifting and this very nice, almost one year long bull trend. Things have shifted, right? From Bitcoin to now Ethereum and Binance coin. And well, Binance coin has just been on fire the whole time. But you know, what's happening, you've got like these other protocols that are appearing on like Binance, Binance's, uh, you know, exchange, like and Cake and, and Bake and Cream and, whatever the other ones are there's a lot of them right i mean a ton of them are up today i've never even heard of i think g and found one called prom coin or something dude they're just out there right so you gotta scan you gotta be looking for them and then if you find these harmonics and stuff i mean they could be incredible opportunities so beautiful okay and this could continue, so don't even be oh like. Can you check out MKR slash GTH? I think I see a composite operator. Maybe, but you know, it's just you know, people are like, I want to trade cream to Binance Coin. Why would you want to do that when you when Binance Coin to the U.S. dollar looks like an ascending triangle that's going to go to 770, right? You're probably better off uh, pairing it to the U.S. dollar, which they're printing unlimited, unprecedented amounts of that, right? That That's probably your best bet. Probably the same thing with Maker. Maker's probably going to be easier to trade to the U.S. dollar versus to Ethe Ethereum. Because Ethereum, look what we're talking about. The composite operator spent years, two plus years, acquiring his position, leaving his breadcrumbs as signature. And now we're in, we're at the end. Like the phase, we're on a new phase, the markup phase, right? The accumulation phase and now a new phase the markup so you know okay we look at it for sure but it might not perform very well be based on this stuff we're looking at right okay so uh, give these requests now it's trying to add up a little bit so okay first one What are you talking about, dude? Well, pity, man. Thanks for the Cardano tip. Yeah, I might change it, dude. I'm probably going to make it to where, like, it's between, like, you know, six bucks and seven bucks or something to where it's just, like, you know, you don't have to tip six, six, six. I get it, man. We are pretty holy uh, chat. So Alpha Gate OGN on the daily is incredible. Hidden bullish divergence is uh, extremely real and very well developed, mature, right? As you can see, the negative momentum is getting closer and closer to neutral. So great look on the daily. Give me a sec. I can't remember. You got maybe that, you know, well, if a bottom, see, this is what I'm talking about. Locally, a lot of assets look like Bitcoin. Yeah, locally, they do. So, um, lots of help on the daily. You had bullish divergence before reverse, but now you really want to see a higher low get set in, right? If you put a lower or a higher low in, 
I mean, the thing is, though, this thing could go all the way down to 160 or 150, you know, if you're going to actually get a really nice symmetrical looking structure, right, of the inverse head and shoulders, right? And the necklines down, down sloping, so it's not really that as strong. You always want, you want your stronger uh, inverse head and shoulders to have uh, horizontal necklines. This one's not, you know, it'd be kind of more like a supply line. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the daily is implying a continuation soon. So, yeah, maybe what's going to happen, it makes a higher low, and that could, it could be a great opportunity. Also haven't seen sarcastic RS guy for a long time. Yeah, dude, he's out of here, man. He went short on Bitcoin at like 8K and... He can't afford the internet anymore. That's why you haven't heard from him. So thank you, John Smith, for the 20. Yeah, we'll look at EOS. I don't know about expert, dude. I'm not, I'm, I'm an expert. I mean, like, based on what? All, I, all I've done is, like, you know, I love charts. I love studying charts. I love, like, trading and technical analysis and all that. I've been doing it for, like, you know, over 10 years now. But that doesn't make me an expert, okay? So I'm just a guy, man. Just uh, Just a guy. So if we look at this, you know, maybe you get like a, you see this low from March 30th and April 4th. Man, there's nothing else, dude. There's like nothing else. All right, composite operator acquired his position at much lower levels. You can clearly see it on smart money. Now it's like, ugh. you know, but the trend's extremely bullish still. That daily is really helpful. All right, so you might just have 163 could be like the optimum back test. Like that could be an area to size of risk because below that, I don't think you want anything to do with OG and below 163 at this point, since you just sprung and could have potentially back tested the spring on April 26. So uh, one could start layering in 178, 170, 163. That's that's the area to be adding because you'd be playing that daily time scale, right? You'd be playing the hidden bullish divergence maturation and the ice line here on the four hour. Other than that, that's about, that's about all you got, right? So it's not bad. OG is not bad at all. It, until it falls below 163, then you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, then you're then you're actually in trouble. So, okay, that's that's it. It did break a supply line of some sort, didn't it? Already, yeah, kind of dragon esque stuff, right? It's the dragon, kind of, kind of a dragon. Like you got a head, you got a foot, you got the hump, you got the second foot, you got the spine. So you could look at it like that. And if that's the case, it's at a very low risk area for a dragon trade. <laughs> I just got a call from the composite operator. He wants oh, yeah? you to look at BP. All right, Matthew D, we'll, we'll take a look. Uh, that's what he sounds like on the phone. It's always in a weird, scuffed accent. Inaudible. But somehow you can always understand him, right? Thank you. So if you look at it kind of like maybe a dragon, I mean, think about it, a dragon with daily hidden bullish divergence above a critical ice line of 163 where you know that's your cutoff point okay you're on dude you're on to something man we're talking about targets this traditional targets of dragons 618 786 and 1272 see it's the dragon let's see how it uh, it plays out okay but if Bitcoin continues to sell off, I, it's probably screwed. But this is just a way to look at it, okay? You're safe above 163. You broke a supply line, and now you're just hoping for a higher low. And, and then 261, 295, and 392 are your targets. OGN, okay? <sighs> nice. Very nice. Not bad. So I so won't publish this one. I'll just uh, post it as is, you know?
Really sorry. I, I just like mute my mic when I'm typing. It's just, I know it's obnoxious. There you go. Our next one. Oh my god, dude, I don't know, man. Very illiquid. Super duper illiquid, okay. Uh, I don't... I mean, shark. Kind of shark stuff. What a bullish hammer. Oh my god, you know, bullish hammer. Bullish reversal pattern. Manifesting into a reversal for now. You know, like, that's very real. The target on this eventually is whatever these numbers are, 2.21 million wrapped ways or whatever, 22 million wrapped ways up there, I guess. That's it. I wouldn't say so much of a formal harmonic unless we're talking about maybe a bullish alternate bat pattern, right? You got a bullish alternate bat from that low XAB. That's perfect. It's like a 40% retrace. The higher high, yep, and then the 80, 100, 88 to 100% retrace, that's that's an alternate bat. Yep, alternate bat target is the top, whatever that is up there, okay? It's up 17.4%, so unfortunately it's, um, you know, well off of the strategic entry on the day, right? Not bad, though. Um, not saying take a long on it right now, but I'm saying, like, this is awesome. That was a, a good area. And the bullish hammer right there was awesome. Can we check in on that? Uh, yeah, we're gonna get uh, basic attention token men. All right. <clears throat> Did we uh? C. King says, if we get 500 likes, he will go annual Patreon. Are you serious, dude? What are we at? We're at 467. Chat, you hear that? Annual Patreon at 500. We could do that in literal seconds. Like, almost 1,400 people watching right now. He says 100% he will. We'll see if he's trolling or not. Okay, chat. There it is. 523 likes. Boom. Very nice. Thank y'all. Holy crap. So this is a uh, this is something that pull, your positive momentum. You finally got a new histogram wick. You know it was negative. There wasn't so much an edge. Nah, there wasn't an edge for like there wasn't a hidden bullish evidence or classic divergence or anything. It was just at a hundred percent retrace. So very nice, man. Oh my God, there he is. He he wasn't lying. C King, thank you so much from going from. A monthly patron to annual. Let's go to the Lord Jenkins. Is that a joint? Pop in the chat for C. Kang, man. Cheers. I really appreciate that, man. Good to hear that, Mr. Salam, dude. Thank you for the feedback. Let me know. Good Lord. All right, uh, move on. It's pretty freaking awesome looking. I mean, you've got, it's not the lowest risk because it's 17% up on the day, but I'm telling you, that's the target eventually up here. 2.1 or 21 million, 22 million ways, whatever the, however you say it, okay? Those numbers up there, that's the target. Sweet. the question here oh yeah yeah the bearish uh gartley the beautiful textbook bearish gartley you're catching a reaction there obviously very real uh reaction with divergence of the daily and the weekly yeah i mean triple bearish divergence but it's not going anywhere yet remember it's tough right it's really tough when your macro is so bullish you know it's so strong it just really these individual assets that are bearish they just 
the bear stuff's just not gonna play out as well. It's like you want the S and P 500, you want the Dow Jones, you want them to be bearish trends. They're not. But yeah, this is certainly an area where if someone was wanting to, they could take a short or buy a put, you know. And if it was actually going to play out all the way, I mean, you're just being conservative from A to the top. I mean, you're talking about $42.79, $40 would be targets down here, 50%, 618, just conservatively speaking. But uh, again, it's it caught the reaction. It's just going sideways. It's not really dumping yet. And then it's like if it does dump, 49.45 is your initial target, and then you got to break that. And then if you did break that, you'd be going down to 46.15. So, yeah, it's there. But uh, again, it's really tough being like, yep, the macro is so bullish. It's, but you know, what a beautiful structure. This is textbook. It doesn't get any more perfect than this of a bearish Gartley pattern. Okay. So what we're doing, right? What we want to see is like. We want to see in these really bullish conditions, we want to see this. We want to see a mega downtrend, right? And then, and it's like before that though, it was like you had, right? You had, yeah, that's what you're looking for. You, you have the 2008, 2009, this is the, this is the uh, tech bubble, all right? It just made an extremely deep retrace and it's now forming this structure. This is definitely, I mean, it's, Look, I'm just telling you, Cisco could be saying this, okay, which is not bullish. It's it's bearish looking. This is a mega structure. This pattern has been in development since the COVID, so a whole year, one year. No, July 2019, so longer. So it's almost a two-year uh, large structure. Man. Yeah, we'll look at Woo. Only full writing. Thank you for the 20. Yep. Next one. Yeah, yep. Uh, you're getting to very interesting levels now. Absolutely interesting levels on Zap to the US dollar tether. So, Danim. Is that a joint? People are joining the Patreon because they have an idea of what might be coming in the crypto markets in the next couple of months. The education and information you provide is the best reparation. Thank you. One request. BSD, please. Dan, thanks for the 2420. Yep. We'll look at it. All right. Cheers. Bullish Shark right here. We got a textbook Bullish Shark. Just eyeballing it. Could be a cyber. A little deep, so it's kind of sharp. That's fine, though. 886. That's a shark. We got a Bullish Shark on Zap. To the install at the pattern completion zone. Literally perfect. At the pattern completion zone on the daily, you have classic, class A, bullish divergence, very well developed. Fortunately, not on the RSI, but the, the MACD is great, dude. Wow, not, this is good, dude. This is, uh, it's fantastic. This is, this is like, you got a small reaction, but uh, not so much of a reversal. Down 6.44% a day, uh, not, a, you know, fell below that 200 day moving average, couldn't break it, so problem with sharks are right so good but what happens if like uh you don't catch much bids the rsi you know has to paint divergence to i don't know man the magd looks so good these things right sharks can go down to 113 percent retraces right so you gotta be at least aware that 113 is like down here so you would hope not because it's making just lows higher low higher low and hopefully just another higher low so it doesn't go to that extreme extension so very very interesting set of variables here that uh we've seen before when you hit 886s and you have daily divergence like that it's fully very well matured uh reversals can occur but not on this one not yet i mean like not so much of a reversal it's dumping today it's not doing well so and it's kind of like not at a critical support resistance really i mean there's just one peak in valley yeah right there so above 12.4 cents, you'd think that this is a really good opportunity. Below it, and it starts getting like, all right, you could see 7.4 cents if you break 12.4 uh, cents, okay? So maybe you sprung, you're trying to back test the spring here. Thumbs up. Interesting. Worth pinging people about. Nice job. Nice job.
Dude, Philip C. <clears throat> Thanks so much for joining the annual Patreon. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. Is that a join? Thank you, dude. This is obviously a record, Philip, uh, and everyone. Like, there have never been this many annuals joining on a single day before or a single stream ever. Ebba. All right, um, next one. Look at that. Mm, technically, there is that. Technically, there is hidden bullish divergence going on. Wow. On the daily. So it's in the dead middle of kind of a range here, right? Probably just go more Bitcoins going, but outperforming Bitcoin somewhat, right? Hopefully we'll all, all these little old resistance points, including the one right here from February 13th, could be a support. You're below it, you're trying to hold the 200 moving average. It's not, uh, it's not that great. I mean, I think we've seen better setups already today than this one. A uh, Medi movement. Thanks for the alerts and most importantly the education. Up oh, 90 since joining your Patreon ever. 90 what? 90%? 90 dollars? 90 pennies? Oh, it says up 90% since joining your Patreon even with that recent drop. Uh, Medi, and I'm just showing you right real quick. Okay, it's um, right 90%. Thank you, dude, and congratulations on your attendees. I'm just hoping that uh, you use those tendies wisely, you reinvest them, you retrade them, you, uh, I would for any money you make, you reinvest, right? I mean, if you need to pay your bills, that's fine too, but, uh, you know, I want your money to just keep growing, dude. Keep growing and growing and growing. Medicine on Nasdaq. Fed coin was so things 20. Yeah, we'll look at it. Sure thing. Uh, Adam, man, I don't really. There was hidden. Mm, there was no bearish divergence, uh, interestingly. It's holding, and if it holds, if it can get above and hold above $22, it's going to $26 again. And then um, it's just a mega range where you don't know is it, is it uh, wine comp distribution or is it reaccumulation? It's tough, man. You, you don't really know. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Card like Cardano. Yep, hits the bottom kind of of the range. Trader set up their lowest point. Valentine's Day right there. And it's just bouncing off that. And it, it's very similar to Cardano. All right, so if you're in the dead middle of a range, it's you can't strategize, really. It's really tough to strategize taking a long right now, okay? So that's got to move on. Can you check heels slash USD? Thanks. Uh, yep. Yeah, we'll look at it. Lance. Thank you, dude. Yep. Huh? Uh, I am typing in pick. You said JBBS. JBBS is not a thing. Maybe it's JBSS. I don't know, man. I don't really know. Yeah, yeah. It has to be JBSS. Because I can see what you're talking about. I don't know about that, man. And it's so illiquid. It doesn't... It has 35,000 volume. It's not even worth looking at. Uh, I would... Because I don't want people to take longs off of it. And, uh, nah, man. It's just as easy. This is exactly where major reversals occur. Look at that. He's like, cope with handle, maybe? And it's like, nah, dude, you're at a major critical reversal point. Look how how much failure there's been. Yeah, if it if it breaks it, my God, it's going it's gonna go nuts. But uh, again, it's thirty thousand volume. It's like nothing, dude. Okay. Yeah, it looks good if it wasn't thirty thousand volume. 
then absolutely eventually it'll it'll pull back make a higher load than previous loads sending triangle behavior it breaks 90 92 dollars it goes to 106 107 real fast okay all right anyway moving on because it's too low volume to spend time on you can't Oh my god, dude, you gotta be kidding me. So it had a failed uh, Gartley, but dude, look at this. Man, this was Cody. Holy crap, we have not been back on this one. 1272, two, butterfly, right? A bullish butterfly. Wow, it went down again. Good, got it triple bottomed. Almost like quadruple bottomed, right? Jeez, man. And it's been rallying ever since. Hey, it's back above that critical 36 cent area. Above that, I mean, I think you could eventually see 48.9 cents the next high from March 8th. So, uh, good to see it. And if it pulls back, all it has to do is just make a higher low than 26.7 cents. And um, it'll pivot and it'll run again to higher highs most likely. So, yeah, that's a that's a butterfly, right? Textbook butterfly. 1272, 78% retrace on B at lower high on C. Yep. And at that level, there really wasn't much of an edge, not on the four hour at all. Like it was kind of bearish convergence everywhere. You had the RSI oversold once and twice though. Okay, and so like when it kept going sideways, it all right, it did diverge. It was diverging on these same lows, right? So every time you kept making the same low, you were making like higher levels of relative strength, right? So it was bullish divergence and kind of on the MACD too. So all right. So eventually 48.9 cents, then after that, you're talking about 58 cents to 60 cents top of the structure but you know pull back nothing wrong with the pullback you go to 32 cents you back test it as support before going higher that's obviously a possibility so not in nice on cody all right hmm All right, so we have a request for Maker to Ethereum. Well, I don't like it because of, I mean, maybe I do like it. God, it's ridiculous. There's the top. That's clearly the area. I mean, that's that's it, dude. You got the one scam with crazy high where it uh, opened on this exchange back in August of last year. Yes, yeah, stupid accumulation. My God. But it upthrusted, it failed, so. You can't say it's a low risk area right now. It's just really tough to be like, oh yeah, great low risk area. I mean, there's this one low right here. This one low from August 18th. And then you've had some times it's tested. So it's it was resistance, 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 now support. Uh, don't. Right, you're always wanting to see the lower risk areas. This is kind of like higher risk area, right? Where what could happen? You know, X. What if Ethereum keeps going nuts, right? X, A, B, C, and then D's down here, right? So you, you've made like two peaks, three peaks, five. Like how many peaks you made? So to me, like though it, it's nice that it's obviously momentum shifted, but now you're you're thinking about okay one could just wait until like an 88 percent retrace right and and then you got a perfect shark and you know these patterns are allowed they play on over and over and over again so it's like one could just wait i mean and if it doesn't play out fine but i just don't know why you would want to be trading to an ethereum pair anyway because of how stupidly bullish ethereum looks like it would just be it's just not wise yeah there's some maybe a little bullish divergence going on the four hour right now okay i'm just telling you once that breaks though once that support breaks you got a low risk entry down here at 110, 1.1 million wrapped ways or just ways. I don't even know anymore. Okay, just let me look. Let me uh, just look at charts. So I, I just like I don't see it as like a great look. Okay, it was a very fast move up, X A B C, and now maybe you're working on C to D. So moving on. Okay, next one. Uh, yeah, EOS, uh, similar structure to a lot of other ones like Litecoin, 
dash, Z cash. So Steve K, loves mutual. Thank you for supporting the stream. Uh, we can look at your S coin if you wish. All right, thanks, dude. Hidden bearish divergence, just like the rest, below the 200 moving average. Uh, maybe you coming back to S530. The major ice line from history. It's like a zone, but I think I plotted that way back. Gotta go way back. So yeah, I would think that anything above 531 and 550 is extremely bullish, very, very bullish. Because I mean, like, dude, that that is that critical reversal area. If you break above that and then you hold it as support long enough, you understand like the ne it goes to the next area. It goes 666, 682. It's it's not just that area. It's also here from February of last year. So I mean, yeah, you above that, it's awesome. Okay, very strong above that. Now below it, mm, start thinking maybe 423 could happen, but uh, above it. You're pretty nice. So let's see if this hidden bearish divergence will underperform and that could help give us a glimpse and understanding of the bias on this market, which if it underperforms or doesn't perform at all, then it's like really bullish. So again, above 530, I think you're in great territory on EOS. That's it. Uh, six, anything above 530, 550 is eventually 680. And above that's 8. 58 and above that's 943 all right that's it that's it on eos all right and cameron j thank you so much for right now joining the patreon locking in the 130 rate before it goes up on the first just a few days saturday It'll be the first thank you dude i'm in the chat got uh, 43 minutes till your daily candle close if you're enjoying the live stream hit the like button the bell that sub it is patreon night tonight uh it's like a uh, bonus stream we just do it hang out you know just whatever shoot the s talk about things no real requests or anything so thanks for the 1277 people tuned in thanks for the 648 likes you understand we could get 800 likes in five minutes if y'all wanted you know it's willpower this is my homecoming stream okay because i was on Twitch yesterday because of the YouTube had issues so okay moving on yeah BP is still extremely active uh, where remember what we did remember we talked about matthew d it was like you had very nice hidden bullish divergence you were back testing a spring and the trade is ongoing all right and it's just butting up against 2677 once it breaks it's going to 3455 yes i think like jp morgan's talking about by the the largest highest amount of uh, uh demand for energy and oil they've ever seen coming up because all the pent-up demand that's going to be unleashed onto the market so yeah I, I that's what i think bp you know what it looks like matthew d it looks like uh, under armor very similar to under armor before it went nuts okay so yes i think 34.55 on bp eventually very soon i mean like very soon you'll be breaking the ice line that you're at at 26.77 and then after that man i don't know let's go weekly or something Uh, above that on the weekly, 46.43, that one initial peak from 1997. What? I, I feel like I was reading what you were saying, but it didn't sound the same at all. Um, Jay, thank you for the 50 super chat. Is annual membership owners becoming something similar to NFT owners? Uh, well, no one owns me, right? I mean, like, nah, you're just supporting the stream as a, you know, an annual patron. And I'm just trying, I'm just doing, like, you. I've been doing the same thing I've been doing for three plus years now, right? So it's like, it's, you know, you, you people are just joining is like, all right, we, you're just saying when you join annually, 
or monthly, hey, I just want you to keep doing what you've been doing, man. Just keep it going. Keep it riding. Like, all right, you know, so some utility, say a one hour, one on one in Alabama. No, see, the problem with that is uh, people ask about mentorship and stuff. I used to do that a long time ago at when I was hyped on crypto. And I learned like, oh yeah, dude, there's an unlimited amount of people that want one-on-ones and they'll pay a lot. But the problem is it's like, then all of a sudden it's just so much time is taken up scheduling it and doing them. Um, and then it's like, all right, people will reschedule five different times. And there, and now I can't even imagine if I opened up one-on-ones, what would happen? Like I, I would literally be like doing request streams, you know, sometimes they get crazy. It's just like all day, every day, just one-on-ones. That'd be my life. So. And it's like, if I'm gonna, you know, break away from nine to five and do my own thing, it's like, well, I'd like to at least enjoy it and have some freedom and stuff, so. A uh, meetup, uh, well, we're doing a meetup in Miami in June, the biggest Bitcoin uh, convention in the world in history is going on in Miami. So, and I'm gonna be there. And so are a lot of the core members of this group and other patrons and, just people who support this community are gonna be there and we're gonna have a, a, a meetup, like we have someone who owns a club down there. We're, we're gonna have things going on. So it's that's happening soon. So if you wanna participate in that, Jay, uh, Miami's waiting for you, okay? Uh, June 2nd through the 7th, we'll be there. June 2nd through 7th, all right? So above 34.55 on BP is 46.43, yes. Matthew D, yes. We got a much better entry though, around 2171, right? It's going great. BP, yes. Wonderful. Just butting up against resistance once it, once it breaks. But with the remaining, you're just absorbing the remaining supply at this ice line, I believe. And once it breaks, it's gone, dude. It'll hit that target. I know Matthew, do you remember Under Armour? And he's like, yeah, dude, it does look very similar. Uh, I mean, like on how to use harmonics. Like there, there are videos, some videos on harmonics, but I would recommend if you're talking about video on how to use harmonics, go to Scott Carney's channel. Literally, go to Harmonic Trader. Someone plug it. It's one of the mods. Just plug his YouTube channel in the chat. If you want to learn about harmonics, learn from the freaking master who trademarked them. Okay, and did all the research on them. That's the man there. Okay, if I'm Vader, he's. Well, no, if I'm like Luke Skywalker, he's like Yoda, dude, okay? All right, let's see here. Next one was that, okay. There it is, Matthew D is posting it, boom. Beautiful. Yeah, Bat's incredible, dude. Bat, uh, eventual target, 160. You see you can hold, man. Uh, outperforming Bitcoin very well. It hit the uh, PCZ pattern completion zone of a bullish alternate to bat pattern. Bat on bats. Right, it can be confusing, batception. I think you maybe got your confirmation low and uh, eventually your target is 160 to 164 up here, all right? Just the top of the structure. There are multiple assets that look very similar to this one. There's your bat. I wish there was more to talk about. It. It's already plotted. We already did TA on. It's extremely bullish trend. We've had multiple, multiple uh, trades, set up successes on all the whole way up, man. So, yep, got a little bat. It's it's fine until it falls probably below uh, 95 cents. It's strong. It's just gonna follow Bitcoin in the short term. But a big, once Bitcoin finds its footing and we get that confirmation low, that higher low than the previous low from April 25th on Bitcoin, then uh, this thing is going to see 165 and could go beyond it. All right, could continue. I mean, that's all time highs. So, yep. Yeah. The, the great news, okay, this is something that's extremely significant on BAT, okay? $1.08. What is $1.08, chat? $1.08 is the 2017-2018 all time high. It's right here. It's this yellow ice line you see it you're above that when you're above that extremely bullish very very bullish very good so you want to stay above that if you can stay above 108 i think the probability is high that you do see 165 and beyond right 
your Fibonacci extension for high to low. If you want more targets, you got 187 at the 1272. The golden mean ratio, the 1.618 is $2.15 on bat. Unreal. Remember that time it was at 20 cents? Yeah. That's not done probably, especially if it holds above 108. That's it. MACD histogram, Ron. MACD histogram. Yeah, if you're going, you heard what I said about Miami. If you're going to Miami and you want to meet up and you want to hang with us, you need to private message Brad Fisher. Okay, we, we're definitely doing head counts. We definitely don't want surprises. Okay, there's a lot of weird people out there and we just want to kind of gauge a number and especially for our friend who owns a bar club down there too that's going to be... Uh, you know, we're gonna be it's private for us for the, an evening and we want to know like we want to put you on a list So hey, you show up at the door. We got security there. And like, hey, man. All right. What's your name? Are you this? Bro? Okay, you're on the list. You can come in if you're not on the list It's like gonna be real tough, you know getting you in so it's just like Please communicate with Brad Fisher on discord if you're going that's it. We just had to say it, man. We gotta say it, man. We got we got a structure. It has to be like that. So yeah, dude. We're gonna yeah, give you a piss cup. You're gonna be drug tested uh, upon entry. Yeah, we're doing a background check. See if you have any felony. I'm just kidding. Just kidding, dude. Kappas around. So woo. What is woo, man? You're talking about on the Australian stock exchange. Can I look at woo? Cause it's a crypto too. We've, we've been here before. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, one, two, three valleys and went nuts and then it back tests the old resistance at support and then went again. Uh, I don't know, man. It's kind of like, yeah, you're at like critical areas, like your previous all time high. You ran up very well, um, but, and now it's engulfing. It's up 4% on this day. It's, going into clothes pumping so maybe you're engulfing maybe it's a bull flag but it's not like a low risk area right the lower risk areas are like look this wick high i don't remember the last time i looked at this but i've been here before i i, I guess i have memory of this place that high in february 20 i plotted it look what you did the asset went to it and tested it and candle closed right at it and then a bullish engulfing candle occurred at it those are like areas that are more strategic that make sense for lower risk at these levels you're just at the resistance not far off and yeah maybe you're engulfing and yeah maybe hidden bullish evidence is developing but you understand it's much harder to strategize where to set your stop losses because of where it is okay it's kind of higher risk areas so if it broke out and it was going to continue its price discovery the Fibonacci high to that previous low and your target would be 126 and 145 126 145 your fib extensions if it's going to break 107 111 but it's not like oh my god we're at the pattern completion set of a harmonic with bullish divergence everything uh but yeah you can definitely argue and say without a doubt on the macd Histogram, you have hidden bullish divergence implying continuation of the upside. We'll see if it plays out. We'll see the TA is respected. That's it. There goes my stream, I guess, right? Oh, no, dude. Sorry. My bad, dude. Look, the area that was lower risk was obviously this high from February 24th. It went down and it touched it and candle... The candle closed at it and then you engulfed at it right got above the 200 moving average those are like lower risk areas so i'm saying you're up against all-time highs and you pull back some um and yeah hit bullish ever just develop i'm just trying to redo this for people that didn't get to see it uh for everyone didn't get to see it so maybe it's bull flagging and again the target from high point to low point for fibonacci 126 is the 1272 and the 1618 is 145 pretty much 146 so those will be targets up there, okay? If the flag played out with the hidden divergence, maybe. All right. Wasted twenty dollars, really? You wasted it. You know that twenty dollars goes to me and supports my life, right? Me, everything. You understand that, right? So it's like, how are you saying you wasted it? I mean, like you were the one that requested an asset. And I, I couldn't find it, and I did everything I could to 
make do with that. You, how can you say that's a waste? It's like not my fault at all, and you know that. So I don't know how you can say it's a waste of $20, dude. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. It's not even fair. You set me up for failure for you to be disappointed. Like, what am I supposed to do? What's up, Dow Jones? Thanks. Oh, so we had a backup, didn't we? Hmm. What's going on, man? Um, I thought I had other work set up. Let's see. What, which one did I have? Hold on a second. I have to find it. I have no idea. None of my work saved. Rosario tipped twenty four dollars and so Rosario. Can we look in a slash US? Thanks, brother. We can, thank you. Uh for the contribution, I appreciate it. Well this is the one, right? Where it was like at a cell wall, right? And once it broke it it would go nuts. It did go nuts, but then it, it dumped, right? Traders obviously took profit at that peak from January last year, 458, reverse there. But that's fine. That's the backup. Look where it is now. You gotta you kidding me, dude. This is it. This is like you understand, like it's Ooh, above the critical resistance. Thank you, V Dubs. I'm not trying to pile on anyone. I'm just saying, like, it's just, uh, you know, I, I thought I was, like, working hard and doing the right things. And if someone requests something and it's wrong and I tried asking about it and I didn't get anything back and I, uh, hey, Camaro, thank you so much for, uh, being a monthly patron, but now becoming an annual Patreon on annual Patreon day, national annual Patreon day, April 29th, 2021, I guess. Thank you, dude. Holy crap. Is that a joint? Thank you, dude. I have no idea how many new annual patrons we've had today now. So yeah, above 255, extremely bullish. Yep, hidden bullish divergence on the daily. Uh, BSV's target's 458 again. You understand, do you hear me? 458 target, BSV again. Above 227, 255. Do you get it? What was once resistance, 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 support, support, resistance, resistance, resistance is now potentially support again. And, and in between that, there's just very little support resistance. So you could even say conservatively 366, another peak, right? But that, that's it, man. Like that's, that is BSV. It is accumulation accumulation the composite operator has acquired its position and you just possibly had your backup and at, you just made another higher low on the backup and above critical congestion area look i mean if you want me to plot it i can congestion zone area above it insanely bullish stupidly bullish Below a day, you might be in trouble, but look, I mean, higher lows over and over and over again. 363, 366, 421, 458. There you go. Three targets on BSV. Moving on. What do you mean it didn't pop up? If it didn't pop up, it did pop up. W O O. I looked at it. Woo. Dude, no way. Carlos L, thank you so much for editing your pledge from monthly to annual right now. Thank you, dude. Sweet mother of God. Is that a joint? This is crazy, man. This is history. This is history. So thank you for being here on this historical day with me all right there he is in the chat thank you carlos man 
Patreon chat, Patreon night gonna be lit. Yeah, dude, hopefully especially lit, man, after that cream setup, trade setup, and just the altcoins and Bitcoin dominance and altcoins, I mean, Ethereum hitting all the time highs as early as today, right? Or as late as today. It's beautiful. I've literally already looked at Woo like thoroughly. Okay. So I just don't know any of the crypto. Not a low risk area, but could be momentum, I guess, right? Could be momentum. Dude, oh, Alexi. Let's go, dude. Oh my God. Where is it? Where's the notification? Ball. Let's go. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Thank you, dude. Thank you much for all the education you provide. Brad Fisher PM and coming. Uh, all right. Brad looks like Alexi is coming to Miami. Potentially, hopefully. Thank you, man. See you down there, if that's what you mean. I don't know. I mean, he, Brad, he might just be hitting you up because he wants to say hi. That always a chance, right? Nothing is certain. Okay, next one, next request. But I'm, I'm trying to do, you know, without trying to piss anyone off. Uh, mind medicine, mind med. I thought there was more data. This is the chart, though. I thought I'd seen MN, or maybe it was like MMND or something. You said MNMD, MNMD. This is the chart. There's nothing to look at, dude. There's no data. It's like looking at coin. There's just, it's been, this chart's been live that I'm looking at for six days now. That's it, dude. Coin, you requested this asset. Like, I'm literally looking at it, so I don't want to be like, Oh, I didn't mean that, I meant something else. Fed coin's just smiling. Thank you, Fed coin, for the smiles. All right, that's his uh, blessing. He says, yep, you're good. All right, next one. That is, uh, Lance, that is not on TradingView. I, I cannot, I can't analyze it if um, it's not on TradingView. You asked for YLD to USD. It doesn't exist, man. Maybe it's wrapped either pair or something. Nothing. What? What is honey swap? Is that even a yield on X die? That's crypto stuff. Honey swap. Pretty bullish. Uh, whatever this crap. It's like you know, like five people on a donkey are trading this, but lots of accumulation to sell wall on YLD to WXDAI. Which is steak. I need steak, dude. B dubs, oh my god! That's the first uh, 66 66 card on it. It's holding in the jar. It's beautiful, dude. It's beautiful. Love it, man. Thank you. Holy crap. B dubs tipped $66.66. First yell, please, while we wait for close of day. Uh, B dubs, sure. Yeah, we'll look at it. Uh, I gotta get through these other requests and then we'll do it. Hi Mitch, please can I have your view on bar? It is just nothing burger. Is patience finally going to be rewarded or are there better assets to switch to? Thanks bro, United States dollar, United States dollar, United States dollar. Thank you for the United States dollars or the toilet paper. Thank you dude. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look at it, thanks man. Um, we gotta get these other. Let me, let me knock them out. Let's see. The next one was this. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei. 
X, what is this? X something? XTK. Trapped ether. Okay. Mm, I don't think it's deep enough. Uh, I don't think it's deep enough yet. Really liquid. I mean, there's a support back there. Yeah, there is, right? Uh, but it, it's bleeding out. And I would think, like, if anything, like a lower risk area would be, you know, a little bit deeper. 70% 70 retrace there. That screws everything up. Yeah, it's too deep on B to be anything. Uh, even if you said, all right, I'm gonna use this anchor points way too deep. So this is not a formal harmonic, but it's like 78% retrace though. So it could be a value area. It could be a garley, man. It's, it's not a garley though. It's too deep by like 10%, you know, like far too deep. So you just think about like you're at these levels, you know, 22.7, 18.6, like there's probably lowest risk down here. It never back tested it. Um, so I'm really kind of torn on this. I think there's probably way better opportunity out there than XTK to wrap ether. Yeah, daily sucks, man. Daily's not giving you any kind of clues. I would think, yeah, like 17.5, 18.6, whatever down here is way better of a low risk reward opportunity area. But yeah, maybe it reverses. So uh, I'm not gonna force it. If it's not there, it's not there. It's not really there to me, okay? I can't believe this, man. I just, I, I'm seriously, this doesn't even seem like real life. Uh, Crypto Chevy, man, thank you for going from monthly to annual on annual Patreon day that y'all somehow have decided is is what it is. Okay, thank you, Crypto Chevy. Let's freaking go, man. Hype in the chair. Unbelievable. It's like all patrons are going to become annual. Thank y'all. See. Oh yeah, J man. Uh, crawfish boil costs. Yeah man, I want to eat crawfish. I love crawfish. I actually last week had it back to back. Went to a crawfish boil, and the next day I had to go get more. It's just oh so good. I freaking love crawfish, man. Okay, uh, next one was Nano. That is a very promising potential Vosity athlete, right? Got all the makings of a potential Vosity athlete. Supplement drop wing spin. Oh my god, man. I haven't had to spin in 10 years. Thank you, dude. Get wrecked. Thank you. Good time. Annual, annual day, exactly. So this is what we had going on. It was like right around here. It's like, all right, here would be the best thing ever. If you got a third valley here, that would be ideal because then you would have the three rising valleys, potential three rising valleys above critical ice lines, all right? This is where traders set up their highest point, February 12th. And you're above the wicks too. Oh God, this is so good, man. Like Nano, people be like, oh my God, I missed out on cream. I missed out on all these trades. It's like, dude, one staring you in the face. This is it. This is such a low risk area, man. Classic accumulation going on after next A, B, C, D. Like, no way, dude. This is, this could be fantastic if Bitcoin can hold here. All right. Prince of Nigeria. Yeah, we'll look at Bitcoin Cash. All right, dude. And which, uh, another great one. Okay, composite operators acquired his position on Bitcoin Cash. We've had a successful backup. We're making higher lows. We're above critical resistance levels of uh, big one cash man it's like long and strong strong and long like just once holding uh jb express thank you so much for joining just the normal patreon looks like monthly thank you dude locking in those rates before the price increase on the first thank you dude but remember you do get billed if you if you join now you will get billed in like three days another 130 but at least it won't be 150 so but uh, you know everyone who's a current patron they will be grandfathered into the 130 as long as they auto renew every month. So it's like they don't, they're not affected by this. It's only people joining. Wow, dude, I've been doing this three, three plus years and you're just now joining the Patreon? After like all this stuff's happened? Yep. Inflation, dude. Welcome to it. Hyperinflation coming next couple of years. It's going to be bad, dude. It's not going to be good. 
Like, if you think what, what's going on right now is not gonna have dramatic, drastic, negative effect, you are not uh, paying attention to reality at all. You can already see the insanity that's occurred, and it's just begun, dude. So there you go, uh, Rosario. Went Super Saiyan Rosé, didn't he? Yes, he did. Okay, let's see. That one. Next one's that. Oh, it's a wrapped either pair. Oh, well, I mean, it's up 15%. I guess you're just looking to have fun. This is a great... Look at this trend. Jeez. And look how it all started, though, Chad. Why did you not request this down here? Oh, my God. It's a shark. It's a stupid, most ridiculous shark ever identified initially. Look at this, okay? October, XAB, and we could see... Yep, and then D, look at 886. Dude, that was. Grand Super Chat at 35. Back in late January, someone's requesting ERSDL. It, I, this would have been a trade setup and it would have gone stupid, but it's only being requested now. So what am I to do, right? It's. What is this? What is there to do? Really dumb money now, I guess, right? I mean, this is crazy. Unfederal Reserve Token. Unfederal Reserve. I like. I'm all in, dude. All right. Screw the Fed. What they're doing so irresponsible. This experiment that's going on. It's not going to end well. Beautiful. So good. Like cake, bake, cream, CRV, like O R N, like ocean, like others. Beautiful. Well, let's see here. Supply line coming up. Yep, you're at the supply line. Sweet mother of God. Look at that supply line, man. Supply line. Okay, there, though. Be like that. Hey, hey, you're just, so, Can obviously, you're at the top of the channel, Still right? Hanging on to a lot of these from under one dollar. Strange chart. Uh, beer grant. What's, what's happening? Did I miss that? Thank you for the 3507 beer grant. Uh, spin again. I'm out of luck. Nah, dude. I'm in luck right now. You're going to see. It certainly won't land on Shud. See? No, no, Thanks, man. What's up, brother? Congrats on all the Patreon members. Can we check out SXP? Swipe. Thanks. Swipe? Yeah, we'll look at it. Thank you, David O, uh, for the congratulations and the support, man. Uh, Utubly man, can we look at Luna? Yeah, look at Luna, dude. All right, that I think like people really like or make smart money likes the project or something on Luna and EGLD or something. I don't know. There's a couple that like you know like I think Raul Paul and that that click. They're kind of into some of those projects. Maybe uh, Nova Gratz or something. Oh, we'll look. What's the next one? What's the next one? That one. Oh man, it's it's tough, right? I mean, you're just below, you know, the old support. You're not in the range. You've tried once, you tried twice, you failed twice to, to break it. Now, if H bar gets above thirty cents, I think you eventually see forty two cents. It looks like the momentum might be shifting too, like where you made a low, the lowest low, there was divergence, and then reversed. If you can make a higher low here, pivot, you're eventually going to break 30 cents. You break 30 cents, then you're the top of the range. Reasonable target would be like 42 cents on H bar. Yep, you're just hoping, man. Uh, left shoulder, head, potential right shoulder in development. That means H bar could sell off to 26 cents. It could even sell off to the Scamwick low. It's 24.5 cents and still be an inverse head and shoulder, potential inverse head and shoulder. So it's just kind of at a point where, like, is this it? I don't know. It could go lower based on the left shoulder if you're talking about that. So. Yeah, break 30 cents for real, not joking, ridiculous, trash, pathetic. Break it. I'm talking about resoundingly break it with a candle close confirmation and a back test. 42 cents to 44 cents is the target on H bar. Yes, momentum seems like it's shifting. Let's we'll see what Bitcoin does, right? Bitcoin's holding 52,000 area for now. 
Hidden Bearish Divergence, I think is kind of pathetically playing out. It's so weak. It's not really playing out well. It's like, that's that's it. Bitcoin went from 55K where it started developing and it just, it just dropped to 52.5, to 52.4 and that's, that's it. And now it's like already bouncing off that support. I mean, that's not good performance for a bearish variable that we've seen you know bullish divergence plays out stupidly well and the bearish is not really playing out that well so it's good uh mark l thank you so much for joining the the patreon before the rate increase on the first am i getting right tonight i don't know about that that could be fake news tiga dan getting wrecked tonight it's been buddy Sure, but it's not going to be erect. You're erect. Nope. No chug. Well, that's H bar. Let's see. Next one, Bitcoin Cash. Again, down 4% almost today. That's okay. Dude, look what's happening. You're at what? What's You got to go way back, man. You got to go back to 2018. And just look where you are, dude. Above this level. It's not. It's like 2017 as well. Wait, where was I? Okay, so right here. This is the date of August 19th, 2017. All right, we're, we're talking like two and a half years ago. Maybe three and a half years ago. What? I don't even know anymore. A long time ago in a galaxy far away, Bitcoin Cash painted a high where traders set it up back then, all right? Big deal. You're above that. You're just barely above that. And it's really like the first high on the four hour look, August 2nd. 852 is 874. You, so you understand why these trend lines exist. These are the first ones. That's why they're there. You're above that. All right. Look, price action correlation, November 17, 2017. All right. Some price action correlation up and down. Right. Look, look at these supports. March of 2018, a couple times. Look what happened when you broke it for real. To when you reversed. Oh, you went nuts. Okay. So I'm, I'm just, look, the support, May 28th of 2018 look what happened chopping around you broke it you, you dumped bad right look double topped up there you got destroyed but you're not getting destroyed you're not failing to break this you're above it and you're back testing it do you get what i'm saying bitcoin cash composite operator has accumulated acquired its position and you just had your successful backup okay and this is where you are. Do, do you get how important this level is, this 852, 874? We went all the way back in time to the first ones ever. If you can sustain prices above this long enough, you're going up to 1200 again. And then above that 1769, 1768, and 1858 after that. So this is a pa patience game. Patience. Hold patience. Oh no, the Cardano ball fell out, B dubs. I'm sorry, man. Coach O knocked out Cardano, man. It looked KMD. He said Gooks Tiger. I don't know what Gooks means, dude. Just kidding, I know it means go. He says go Mitch. Thank you, dude. Mm, uh games in Bryant Denny this season coming up, so. I know. Last year was a year to forget for y'all. Oof. All right, next one. Pick one cash, man. Long and strong. Imagine not holding on this one or Ethereum. My God. <sighs> okay, okay. We're going, man. Y'all put me to work today, which is okay. It's fine. I'm saying, like, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm trying to get there. Clean slate on this one. So Luna, you know, it's it's had its crazy run. It all started with the three rising valleys at much lower levels. It's 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 wild now, right? I think you just had like a channel or something. Even if you adjust here. Yeah, it was just kind of like a channel, maybe a wedge or something. You broke out. You might start to be, you could be showing hidden bullish divergence soon. Uh, there's, 
you know, it's probably not a very good entry area, I don't think. But, you know, the fact that you're above this little... That's good, man. I mean, that that's the ice line. That's literally all you have is the data. That, look, from that high from March 14th, from March 24th, 25th, and everything correlates after that to, to those levels, those, like, manufactured support resistance. Okay, so this all correlates with it. It's all resistance, 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 resistance. Fail, 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 fail. You sold off too much demand and rally and you're back above it now. So what was once support is becoming potentially support again. And if you can hold that and the hidden divergence develops, then your probability increases that you're going up to test. I would think like right where you failed, uh, you know, before. Right, 1944, it's, it holds this, it goes back up to that, breaks that 2050, then 2234, that's it. Okay, so that, that's like, I don't know if you wanna be messing with Luna below 1575, right? The congestion zone, and I'll just plot it, like I do it, make it easy so you can see it, right? Okay, so Luna could be in an area where if it holds here, it goes back up to 1944, that's it. Moving on. Hey, SXP. There's SXP UP as well. Weird. Very weird. Um, yeah, well, I mean, what's there to look at on SXP? It's not a very good request. Uh, there was a harmonic. There certainly was a shark bat going on. You could probably have anchored it either way. I think a shark X A B C up there. Too a little too perfect though. Not 113% retrace in C and 100% retrace. So that's that's a you could say alternate bat as well. Yeah, that could have definitely been considered an alternate bat as well. If you go, I'll just show you. So shark or bat that is alternate, and that would make way more sense, I guess because uh, between an 886 and a 113% retrace, and Scott Carney talks literally about on alternate bats, they oftentimes will hit a 100% retrace, which is exactly what happened here uh, before reversing. And, and it held an ice line of very critical support and showed bullish divergence like many other assets and has had an incredible rally off of that divergence and ice line combination. Time to chug, what's up? Heck nah, dude, no chugs. No chugs, dude. No chugs. Get right, you drink though, you must drink. Heck, so go ahead. It was close though, good try. So now you're at uh, this area 483 to $5, which I think is just that look, man, that high from August 13th. August 14th, right? That That's exactly where you are. So that's certainly not a low risk area, but if you break it, you know, you could be going into price discovery mode and I give you a uh, extensions if you want. High to low, just locally. I mean, 627 if it ever broke out, but this is now like you're getting to levels where it's like, oh, profit taking level because one was taking their entry down here at 288 $3. Entry level and then at C and A are like profit taking levels. So obvious, and if you're at a critical resistance to boot from August of last year, then yeah, that's definitely like it could reverse here. You know, you pull back to back test 350 to 378 as support, make a you know a higher low, and then run again, and you're absorbing remaining supply while it's going on for it. It's completely absorbed, and then you break out. So great run up, but you just got to think, man, as a, as a trader, you know, from that PCZ of the bullish alternate bat to that high point, appreciated 83% in six days. That's not a great long opportunity, right? When assets do that, you're looking for a load, like what we do yesterday on cream. What to do, man? Why would San Diego, oh my God. Oh, no. Fell out of the jar. Dang it, man. Holy crap. Mike from San Diego tipped $66.66. .66. Sudo, Spinnerino. So did Spin Arena, man. All right, man. Here you go, dude. Get wrecked. No chug. Easy. Easiest game of my life. Thank you, man. Seriously, really appreciate the Cardano contribution of Ethereum. 
you know, you could tip me in Cardano, 66, 66, and it'd be a Cardano contribution. That, that's amazing. I wish there was some way to make it be like, if you tip crypto, it would automatically know what contribution, what crypto you tipped in, and it would automatically do that. That's impossible. It's not It's not a possibility of a thing, but that's it's a cool idea, right? Mitch, you always tell me don't send me your coin that already screamed. Guess what pro slash US is bullish divergence on the daily and looks incredible at the moment. Love you, mentor. What's up, Reddit? Love is mutual. Thank you for the 20. We can look at Vpro, all right? Thank you. I know we looked at it somewhat recently, kind of. Sometime. I don't know. Past five days to a week ago. Trying to keep up. Trying to keep up. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my goodness. It's not bad. No, nah, it's not bad, dude. Wow. I mean, you know, what would you say though? One day, <clears throat> not late on four hour actually, man. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, yes, yes, this is great. This is pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right. A new day has been born. A new day has been born, man. If you enjoy the last year, let the bell up. Uh, we did it, man. We did it. Bitcoin held on. All right, it was going to be okay. Amen. All right. How that work, man? Okay. That work? Anyone? So here's your daily. What happened? That old candle eye closed from February 21st was back tested as support. Beautiful. Um, at the same time, hidden bullish evidence. Um, yeah, the maturation of the hidden bullish evidence is uh, nearly complete. I mean, where it's about to go neutral to positive and the bull's going to take over. But the four hour looks good because it's like an inverse head and shoulders. Oh, yeah, momentum shifting structure. Very, very powerful looking stuff. Yeah, man. Like, you know, I don't. You don't need me to see it, right? I mean, it's, it's pretty strong. And then the neckline's pretty much like right here. I'd say that candle high close, that's it, that's the neckline, so, you know. So if it can, if that hidden bullish evidence is to play out, right? Oops. I'm really digging the MACD on the four hour, that's like bearish evidence on the four hour. So it could always come and back test. If Bitcoin doesn't have a good weekend, it could come and back test uh, 227 as support for a real, uh, shoulder, left shoulder, like, you know, symmetrical touch, left to right. Um, but if it ever breaks, you know, I think you got a good idea of the, you know, measured move or the neckline. That's, that is certainly the, the neckline, I think. If something touches you're getting, including just recently, it's if I China broke it. Me, China. 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 That is not the permits, that is KMD. Yeah, correct, because uh, there's a line, right? And you're in the line. Thank you, Reddit man. So K KMD was requested by Coach O. And you're after him. You're literally the next one. So uh, 449 would be the target if you can ever break this neckline of 307. All right, I think it's like around $3 probably. But remember, it's it could always come and back test 229 if you're not lucky. But you can clearly see what's happening, and you have the daily to boot. The daily to boot. No butterfly or anything. No harmonic, but um, yep. You've broken a supply line as well, right? If you want to add, uh, Inverse insult injury. There you go. You broke the supply line. So it's almost like a dragon too. That's it, man. That's the target. 449 eventually if you can break $3. 3 to 3, 307. Uh, you know, again, Bitcoin has to play ball. If Bitcoin dumps. I think you're probably going down to test 228 again. And maybe that might be another entry. So it's kind of like, eh, it's okay. Not perfect. But yeah, there could be upside on KMD. Okay, next one is literally that one. And that's the last request. 
Yeah, absolutely, dude. Yes, this is uh, amazing. Yep, they hit the. Oh, it almost hit the PCC. It was so close. It was so close, man. You also have a falling wedge as well on B Pro. Yep. Yep. Uh, it has not broken the supply line of the falling wedge yet. Not quite. The upside seems tremendous. Yes. Absolutely. B Pro. This is like a mix between a Gartley and a Bat. A Bartley. All right. Bullish Bartley. We've seen them a lot, you know. And there was bullish divergence in the MACD and the RSI at these levels. You had a low, you made a slightly lower low, now you made a higher low, and now you're making higher lows. So, um, I mean, I would think your target eventually on this is 3.2 cents. Yes, 3.2 cents, man. Like that, or like where C is, right? That, that top, right? 3.1 cents, whatever. When I sub to Patreon, that attacks right off. No. Uh, yeah, it actually is. Uh, you could definitely write that off. Many people do that. Yes, P many people write off uh, Patreon as, a, as education. You can ask the people that do it. So yes, it's a common thing. Like this is not like, hi, I'm posting cat pictures. No, there, there's literal like if you got audited and you're like, and they're like, hey, what's this Mitch Ray TA thing where you wrote down for education? You just literally bring up the Patreon and they're like, dang man, okay, that's, that's legit. That's real education. They're, they're there for that reason, not for cat pictures or, or cleavage pictures, okay? So, yeah, 100%. So, this will eventually be your target on B Pro. I mean, that's a tremendous upside and a huge structure. Sub Anon, thank you. We'll look at. So, yeah, B Pro. Deep, deep value areas. Bulkowski structure. Beautiful hidden bullish divergence beginning to play out on the daily. Yep, upside 3.1 cents and 4.7 cents. Yes, B Pro. Yeah. I wish it was. I wish it was. Oh, I, I, I know. I'm actually glad exactly the way it is. Okay. Be pro, man. There'd be like more of a position trade, okay? Be pro is a position trade where it's gonna, it could take like uh, a couple weeks to play out if it's going to, a couple weeks or more. Because it's the day, look how big the structure is on the daily, man. It took uh, March 5th, so it's like a two month large structure. So it could take a couple weeks, yeah. Before getting, or maybe not, because it's crypto, right? But yeah, this is it, man. This is the area of low risk down here. High risk, low risk. Be pro. Okay, next one. Last one. We did it, man. Holy crap. Yeah, it's like, oh uh, man, I don't even know anymore. Like, I've just been, it's been terrible for me on OXT. It's just nothing's been going my way on it. Um, any the way we look at it, just with the Bitcoin selling, it, it didn't have a good time either. But that's testament to the levels it was at, I guess, right? Even if it does look so good and stuff, it's just sometimes in the macro, like Bitcoin goes against you, man. It's not going to be easy. I mean, the probability is higher at these levels of a huge dump versus down here, right? So, anyway, I mean, there is a mega size, like, bullish uh, cipher pattern. A little too deep on B, but uh, other than that, it hit the PCZ, it had the bullish divergence, it's kind of flagging maybe right now. I mean, this is a reversal area, you know, that's a big, big pattern. I mean, again, another two-month large harmonic, very similar to B Pro in ways. So yeah, this could be it. You know, come down and double bottom, get a confirmation low maybe. If Bitcoin doesn't get a confirmation low at 47, 48K, then this is not either. This is gonna, it's pretty much doing exactly what Bitcoin's doing. So this could be flagging and if Bitcoin rallies to 58K now, then uh, I think OXT is going to 78 cents. That's it. Yeah, a little late in the eve, 
Brad, right? But uh, I can do it. Dude, we're like less than 100 members away from 13,000 on Discord. Can we please get that going? 13,000 is like, would be great. Thank you. I just pinned it. Brad just posted it. Join the Discord or be destroyed. You get notified when I go live. This conversation continues when the stream inevitably ends. There's educational resources tab. Even Yeah, even if you're not a patron, there's educational resources in there. Okay, so LXT, PCZ, with a reaction low, maybe confirmation low, but you know, we could get a bigger confirmation low, like a separate wave, right? You can clearly see this is a wave down, a wave up, could be a smaller wave down before double bottoming, make a higher low, then you go higher. And the eventual targets, if you're actually gonna play this aggressively, 91 cents and 103. The way we've been looking at all of them, all right? Yeah, memes are pretty good in there, too. And also, again, you gotta say it. There is the NFT, the cake trade setup NFT. Uh, it's a three-day auction. Don't really know how this is gonna go. Never done it before, like this type of thing with an auction. Uh, we're gonna see if it happens and uh, just adjust on the next NFTs and stuff. So yeah, have yourself, there's like one, one uh, token minted of the cake trade setup, men. All right, what a stream, dude. Full of intrigue and drama and tremendous amount of support from each and every one of you. I'm so friggin' grateful, man. All right. And a lot of potential setups, it looks like, you know, still out there. Will Ethereum see 3K this weekend? If it keeps up at this pace, yes. Bitcoin holds 52K. Has support, yeah. XR, or Ethereum's gonna see 3K at some point. But there is a little bearish ever and starting to play out, but it's it's not really playing out. You just got negative momentum. So just remember, even if the like bad stuff happens, the market, Ethereum does dump to 2,500, dumps down to 2,350. It's still bullish until it makes a lower low than the April 24th low, like 2,170. It's all good, man. 3K is the target. It's been that way. Noise, noise. Been watching and supporting your stream for a year now. Learned and earned a lot. Can you take a look at it? Thanks and peace. Sure. Yeah, two hours and nine minutes in. You requested something. Go. Thank you, man. Yes. Crypto. I guess. Wow. Uh, maybe not. Never mind. No wow. Well. It was. It was good-ish. It was okay. It's not bad. I don't know here. I'm looking at BUSD. Okay. You gotta be kidding me, dude. No way. Crypto Boss, thank you so much for joining the annual Patreon. I don't even think you were a patron before. It didn't say you edited. It just says you're now an annual. Thank you, dude. Oh, my God. Is that a join? Wow. Thank you, dude. Crypto Boss. So looking, yeah, this is actually really strong. This is actually extremely bullish. Oh, my God, dude. Wow. Hidden bullish divergence. On the MACD, on the daily. What was once the old highs where traders set it up their highest point back in August of last year is now support. You just, dude, you just bullishly engulfed. Yeah, dude. I mean, we're talking about targets here. I mean, I'm thinking like 20 cents almost. Like those are the targets, dude. Like 20 cents and 22.3 cents. Crazy structure. It's like cup with major cup with handle on IDEX to BUSD. Yeah, yeah. Anything above 12 cents is bullish as F. Anything above 12 cents is eventually 20 cents. Do you hear me? Do you understand? I hope you understand. Like, just, I don't even, like, I would think the stop loss is just below that candle high close now. You've just spent all this time below it. So now you're, like, playing the fact that it's above it, okay? It's almost equitable. Like, it's, it's like, it makes stop just a little bit tighter. 
there, that right there, I mean, that is above those highs. That's it. That's what you're playing. You're playing it like that. You're playing the daily, about to go positive on momentum. Yeah, this is how you, you're you're playing IDEX to be a BUSD on the daily. Okay. Wow, man. What the heck's going on with these newer coins out there? All right. That's that's how you play it. And if you wanted. You could do a high to low here and get a third target, even if you want, like it goes nuts or something. You get a fourth target, my God. 26 cents, third target, fourth target on this. The 1618 at 30 cents. There you go, that's that's how you're playing this, okay? Trend analysis, technical indicators for sure. Kind of chart patterns because it's a couple of handle stuff, right? We're not doing measure moves or anything, but uh, man, unreal. There it is. All right, so that's it. We got the requests. Been live two hours, 13 minutes. If you're enjoying the live stream, hit the like button, the bell, that sub. How many likes we got, man? We got a few likes here and there, man, okay. Excuse me. It was kind of, kind of on both, it was a like class C. We got double bottom on the histogram. Wonderful, dude. Wonderful on IDX above 12 cents. You are a king and potential almost doubling in value above 12 cents. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bitcoin's daily. Oh boy. Going soon to be positive again. You just keep losing that negative momentum. Good stuff. Remember, the old resistance is now support. It's not bad on Bitcoin. It's not. Hold that, and it's going to be great for altcoins. It's going to be good for Bitcoin. All right. Thanks so much for the likes, love, support, contributions, everything in between. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you haven't. At MitchRayTA on both. Thanks for us, all the patrons, all the annual patrons. Oh, my God. Amazing. Oh, IDEX, the stock C. Well, that's, I mean, like, what do you what do you want from me? Like, how am I supposed to know when you don't specify and everyone everyone's doing that? Like, how? what am I supposed to do? No, I'm done, dude. No, because it was an actual good trade setup. So, now you, you think you, you were scammed? Well, then you don't ever have to watch the stream again, okay? I'm just saying, don't kill the vibes. I'll be back. Until next time, respect the T-A. And no one cares about Matic. Oh my god, a minute of their all time high. You know how many thousands of assets there are? Holy crap, dude. Yeah, because uh, Matic was covered like many times before it was up 100%. So, yeah, that's it, dude. Whatever, bro. You know what? I was going to give you a chance. Never mind.
robot. I like robots. I have a robot vagina. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei! I have some evidence Van Bear Pig could be in this area. That boy is good. I, I don't know, sir. Good and terrible. And then, just like that. Adios, turd nuggets.